Welcome to Storytime. Miss Nicole and Barry Bear here back from our spring break. Did you have a good spring break? Barry and I did. We went camping, didn't we, buddy? Yes, we slept outside in a tent. And as you can see, we have our little picnic basket. Oh, it's fun to have picnic. And uh, an Easter egg basket. Yeah, we celebrated the beginning of spring break with Easter. Did you celebrate with your family? Any of your traditions? Did you go camping? Have you ever done that? Or maybe at least you've gone on a picnic, Barry asked me. Oh yes, we love going camping and bringing fun picnic food. But we did have one fancy meal. Barry wants me to tell you his favorite food is salmon. Mm -hmm. Salmon tacos. That was pretty delicious, wasn't it? Well, Brary, did you bring us a book in your... I bet he did. Let's see. We read a lot of stories while we were in the tent. There's no TV, so we had fun with... Oh, perfect! You're going to love this one. Teddy Bear's Picnic. Words by Jimmy Kennedy. Illustrations by Bruce Watley. If you go down to the woods today... You're sure of a big surprise. If you go down to the woods today, you better go in disguise. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today's the day the teddy bears have their pig. Nick. Every teddy bear who's been good is sure of a treat today. There's lots of marvelous things to eat and wonderful games to play. Beneath the trees where nobody sees, they'll hide and seek as long as they please. Cause that's the way the teddy bears have their picnic. Picnic time for teddy bears. The little teddy bears are having a lovely time today. Watch them catch them unawares and see the picnic on their holiday. See them gaily gad about. They love to play and shout. They never have any cares. At six o'clock, their mommies and daddies will take them home to bed because they're tired little teddy bears. If you go down in the woods today, you better not go alone. It's lovely down in the woods today, but safer to stay at home. For every bear that ever there was, we'll gather there be together because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. Yes, today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. Ah, oh, Brary, you're so cute bringing us that book. Yes, we did have a teddy bear picnic, didn't we? Oh, yes, and we played games, and we did play music. It was a good time. You love to play games. In fact, do you remember... What does Barry like to do now? He likes to take us down memory lane. Let's get your glasses, buddy. He loves this game. He'll put them on. Here you go. ABC book by Anita Lobel. This is called Perro's ABC Garden. And here's the garden growing over here. And there's Perro now. Let's have a hand for Perro. Pero was very sad. Pero missed his friend, Pirette. Pirette was the friend. One morning, Pero said to his pigs and sheep, I will go and visit Pirette. 
and I will bring her something from my garden. Pero went and found some asparagus. What's this first letter? A. A. And A is for asparagus. Asparagus. Great. Next, next letter. E. Oh, it's not quite a radish. It looks a lot like a radish. Does anyone know what those are called? Who said that, you smart fellow? Beets. Beets. C. Letter C. Pedro found. Excellent. Excellent. Celery. Celery. Letter D. D for dandelion. Next letter. E. Then he picked an eggplant. Eggplant. Next letter. F and some flowers. Oh, Petterat will love the flowers. Mr. Cliff, it's the letter G. Very good. He found growing in his garden some grapes. Grapes. Oh, those look delicious. Next letter. H. What does Pedro have? <gasps> Hazelnuts. Next letter. Ah. 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 He gathered Indian figs. Oh, what a garden. What's the next letter? J. 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 And juniper berries. Juniper berries. Ooh, those are beautiful. Next letter. Somebody said it. I heard you. K is the correct answer. And kidney beans. Next letter. L. Lettuce. Lettuce has some lettuce. Next letter. M. That's right. M. And Pedro picked mushrooms. There they are. Oh, those are nice. And very good. It's a nectarine. It's an N for nectarine. Let's all say nectarine. Nectarine. Next letter. People are saying it. It is an O. O for what? No. Onion. Someone. What's the next letter? P. 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 Pineapple. Oh yes, pineapple. Q. It looks like a pear, but these are quince. These are quince. Quince. After Q comes R. R. Well, I wonder what there'll be for the letter R. Rhubarb. Rhubarb. Everybody. Rhubarb. Rhubarb. S is the next letter. S. S. And we have strawberries and lots of them. Next letter. T and what do we have? Tomatoes. You yes. Oh, nothing to eat but something to play and have fun with. The ukulele for the letter U. Ukulele. Wow. Now after U comes Y. Not Y. V. V. Very good. V. This is a vase. A vase you can put pretty flowers and things in. After V comes W. 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 Excellent. And that sta W stands for whirly jig. X. 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 And X is for 
xylophone, xylophone. X and next letter is Okay, now listen carefully because this part is a little tricky. Y stands for the word you. If I pointed and said thank you, then that you is spelled Y O U and you you zebra because the last letter is Z. You zebra, come and help Piro. You zebra, please help Piro. Because Piro wants to take his basket to Pirette's house just like this. And he'll go past his sheep and past his pigs and he'll go down the road and he is off to Pirat's house. Oh, there's Pirat. I can see her little top of her hat. And then she runs around back and says to Piro, Oh, oh, what good things you have brought. And there she is. Let's all say hello, Pirat. And she ran to kiss her friend. She was so happy to see him. And so they had a fine picnic. So we'll spread our picnic cloth under great grandfather silver tree and with the xylophone. We can play music with the ukulele. Let's have some pineapple and strawberries to eat. Let's have some good lettuce and some rhubarb and certainly some celery. Now, they had the grandest picnic. They ate all afternoon and they grew very, very tired. So along about nightfall, they just left the picnic and said to their friends, Nighty night. Lullaby and good night. Those blue eyes close tight. Bright angels are near. Rock your baby. So sleep without fear. They to hear that song from Brahms, Brahms Lullaby. I know it in German. Would you like me to sing it for you, Dr. Duck? Uh, maybe another time, Lady Dragon, because that's the end of story time, huh, kids? Oh, yeah. We hope that you have a wonderful week, and we'll see you again next week. Can I get three cheers for story time? Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hooray. See you next week. Bye-bye.